On the edge of the Sahel in northern Senegal is Nyadalde, no longer an oasis, but a village sinking in the sand. Gone are the green pastures and vegetable gardens. It hasn't rained for almost 10 months. The villagers used to grow food. Now they're going hungry. Their emaciated cattle look for what's left on the sand. Hope for Shambalba comes in the shape of a cloud high above. But will it rain? I don't think so. Even when it rains, it doesn't stick to the ground. It's gotten so hot, even birds drop from the sky. It feels like the desert is moving forward, swallowing our village, and so the men are leaving. On the move is onion farmer Babakar Gay. He sold his land for $1,000, using the money to pay a trafficker to take him to Spain by boat. He worked as a stonemason in Malaga, constructing homes for British tourists before being caught and deported by Spanish authorities. The situation is bad. It's bad for all of us. We can't go back to farming. On the coast, people's homes are being destroyed by the rising ocean. I am ready to try to go to Europe again, and there are many more like me. Mamadou Fall spent four years in a Spanish prison for trafficking Africans to Spain. People are not fleeing war, but droughts. It's when there is no water, no rain for eight to nine months, that there are more departures for Europe. And so traffickers wait for that time of the year when people are desperate to do the crossing. For now, these men have turned to fishing in Saint Louis, but the catch is meager. Access to the waters are restricted because next year, British Petroleum will begin extracting liquid natural gas on their fishing site. In the distance behind me is a Senegalese Navy ship, here not to protect the fishing vessels and fishermen from the rough seas, but rather to protect that BP platform that you see in the distance. It is here one of the biggest discovery of liquid natural gas in the last two decades. The problem is beneath that platform is a cold water coral reef rich in biodiversity, and that's about to be destroyed. The discovery will bring some new jobs and revenue for Senegal, but most here face an uncertain future, caught between a rising ocean and an expanding desert. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, in Jalde, northern Senegal.